Okay. Uh, just wanted to show you guys um, 3D printed tooling. Um, too much stuff in my hand here. So, this is not my design. The punch is, but this die, if I can get it to focus. The die is not something I found. I wanted to try it, so I made a punch. Um, I've already done one test bin with this, and I uh, I know better than doing this, but I made it just completely sharp, the punch, and you can see how it kind of, if it'll focus, it kind of damaged it a little bit, but it created a radius. So I'm going to see uh, if it'll continue to damage it or what the dye um it's it really it, it made witness marks on it but no damage at all and you can see this is not a very good print my printer was not doing awesome skipped a lot of stuff in there or whatever uh for what it for what i'm doing with it i don't really care anyway so this is the bend that i made with it earlier pretty decent Just going to put so I'm just bending this in an H frame press it's kind of what I designed these tools for and the base of them you could use even a vise to do it I doesn't really like. May have pressed it a little hard on that one. This is about the upper limit of the thickness capacity for this type of a die. It squeezed it out a little bit. Not too bad. If you had a Yeah, I might just upsize this a little bit bigger. It's a pretty pretty small die for bending that. This is 080 aluminum. But still, even even still, it didn't really do any more damage to the punch than was originally there. As far as the die goes, it looks like it kind of pushed this down a little bit. I don't know whether you'd get a straight bend out of a long section now after doing that or not. I pushed on that one a little bit harder, a little bit farther than I did the, the first one just to see what it would do. But it's pretty cool. Just a uh, cheap 3D printed stuff.